Natasha, and today I've got for you a full body circuit workout that is gonna work on all four planes of motion. We're gonna be going up and down, front and back, side to side, and even some diagonal. Let's get warmed up and we will get started. Before we do that, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I've got so much more workouts and fitness tips coming your way. So let's get started. Let's warm up. Let's plie and sweep it up. Let's do a few of these. Reach and bend into that side body. And again. Give me a lateral leg lift on each side. And again. And let's sweep it up again. So what we've, I've got for you today is I've got a full body workout. We're gonna be doing nine different exercises, 30 seconds each, 10 seconds rest in between. We're gonna go through the entire sequence twice. And then we're gonna take it from the top and go top to bottom doing everything once. So that's what I've got planned for you. You ready to do this? Let's get started. All right, I'm gonna start my timer for 30 seconds. Before I do that, you may wanna use some light to medium hand weights. I'm not gonna use it for the first third of this um, workout, but I am gonna have them here and grab them soon. So it's totally up to you, but you might wanna have some dumbbells on hand. So let's get started. I'm gonna set my timer for 30 seconds and let's begin with some nice jumping jacks. You can do full jacks, half jacks, low impact jacks, whatever you are feeling today is perfect. Let's just jack it up right here. And we've got 10 seconds right here. Next, we're gonna do some lunges on the diagonal. So your body is gonna face forward. However, we're gonna, we're gonna lunge front and back toward the corners of the room, and it goes like this. Front, toe tap, and back. And front lunge, toe tap, and back. You'll notice this is a balance challenge. Gets those hips engaged. And we have 10 seconds right here. Our next move is a high knee with an abdominal twist. And here's how we go right here. You can do your arms high or low. Whatever you're feeling today is fine. Just get that nice twist in your torso. And breathe. Okay, this is our first circuit. We're gonna go through it from the top for a second time. So we're gonna start with a second round of jacks. Right here, let's go. Be mindful of your knees when you do these, when you jump out, that they're not collapsing in. That indicates weak hips and nobody wants those. Remember your low impact option is also perfectly good. And we have 10 seconds right here. Next um, up comes our diagonal lunges. You could use hand weights on these. Just saying. Here we go. Up to the corner of the room, toe tap, and back. Up to the other corner, tap, and back. And breathe. The back lunge almost feels like a curtsy lunge, doesn't it? Yes. And our third and final move of this circuit is that 
high knee twist. Let's go right here. After this, we're moving on to the second circuit. How are y'all doing? up when you kick out to each side gives you a nice shoulder workout which is one of my favorites seconds right here and we're going to get ready for a narrow squat and we're stepping out to a star. Here's how we do it. Narrow squat, star, narrow, and star the other way. So we're going to alternate just like this. That star is such a nice strong pose. Here you are breathing. And I'm gonna put my weights down. And we're gonna sidestep with an arm cross across the body. Feels good after those stars, doesn't it? Here we go, I started a little early. that circuit from the top. I grab my weight so we got the overhead press with the butt kick. Here we go. Step and press. seconds right here. I'm getting sweaty. How about you? We've got our narrow squat with the star. Woo. Here we go. Narrow squat. Start out and alternate. which is the side step and cross. Here we go. Really pull those arms back and stretch out your chest. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Core is tight. After this one, we're gonna head down to the mat, our third circuit. It's gonna be some core work. And some abs. Okay, you may want to bring your, your weights down to your mat. And you'll see why in a minute. Okay, we're going to start with a high plank. And we're going to alternate. Pushing, picking up one arm just like so. So you really have to stabilize that core. Make 
Make sure you're breathing. Okay, 10 seconds here. Next comes our renegade row, thus the hand weights. You don't need hand weights here, but you probably want them. So you're gonna get in your high plank right here and alternate your rows. Bring that elbow up nice and high. back onto our backs. We're going to do a little dumbbell crunch right here with our legs up. We're going to reach and let it go back overhead. Exhale on the way up. here and we're going to hit up that renegade row. So get your hand weights ready. Get in your high plank. And here we go. Row nice and close to your body. Make sure your butt's not coming up either. I notice mine tends to creep up when I'm tired. seconds here right here catch your breath Woo! 10 seconds here and then we're gonna start with our jacks we're gonna work ourselves one set each all the way down all nine exercises let's go jacks last time and you can do them low remember no pressure to go beyond your ability right here. We're going to hit up those diagonal lunges for one last time. Here we go. You can do these nice and slow because they really do require balance. I'd rather see them slow and good than rushed. Twist. 
has definitely got a cardio aspect to it. Here we go. Maybe moving on to circuit number two. Grab your hand weights, if you so desire, for the overhead press with the butt kick. Right here. segment, but we still have the side step arm cross right here. You guys are rocking it. So glad you're joined with me today. Nice and aligned. Final move, my friends. Dumbbell crunch. you love that workout as much as I did and before you go be sure to like and subscribe to my channel so you do not miss a single workout thanks so much for joining me I will see you next time